Hello and welcome back. Uh, Johnny Garcia. A couple of years ago I did a video on on a air fryer machine right here in this house and now I'm back but you know what I want to do a shoulder port, pork shoulder and you know what in YouTube I couldn't find one that was anywhere near as what I want to do. So here are the ingredients I'm going to use. And we're going to use salt and we're going to use uh, peppercorn and we got two kinds of uh, black pepper but I use one and we got oregano and of course garlic. Two other things that we're going to use a very sharp knife and a small spoon which you can see I borrowed one from my daughter's little girl and now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grind the garlic with salt and I'm using this small plastic cups that I bought about uh, six months ago they're really good they're strong and you can use them for anything you want I love them I have a regular mallet but this is just much better for me to work with so let me show you so this is how it's looking I might have to do it twice because uh, it's a pretty big piece it's ten pounder so let's continue working on it all the ingredients are in and by the way the peppercorn made me cough so uh, be careful and now we're gonna go ahead and make the holes and then start filling in. And now we're gonna fill it up. I've made some holes. Let me make another one so you can see. I made several holes. And then with that little spoon that I showed you about, start grabbing and using your fingers, poking it inside as you can see here. That's what gives you the taste. When you cook this, Oh my god, it's gonna taste good. Okay, now we are ready. I think I've got it as much as I want it at this time. Uh, let me tell you, I'm going to store this for 24 hours, put it in the, uh, the refrigerator, and I'm gonna put it inside this bag for turkeys. Uh, it's gonna make the uh, pork so tender, plus the outside will be crisp. And of course, you're gonna have to have a thermometer because you want to make sure that you get to the required temperature which is around 175 degrees so that you know when it's done. So, so let me go ahead and put it inside the bag right this time and then I'm going to put it away and then uh, tomorrow we'll go ahead and get it out and get the oven going and we'll cover that portion tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. Hey, welcome back next day and we've got the pork ready to go it's in his bag it was in the refrigerator for about oh, 14 hours I've covered the pan with aluminum and I also spray some uh, pan so that it won't stick to it I've got the oven going at 325 warming up so I estimate Oh, four and a half to five and a half hours before this is done and then we're gonna look at it okay I think it's gonna be tasty Puerto Rican lechon asado in the oven of course okay we're ready to go it's already bagged up in the uh, in the in the uh, pan and I've got the thermometer in front of me and I'm gonna make some holes on top of the plastic bag as it calls for so it can breathe, otherwise it'll explode on me. Although I've done before and it's never exploded. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, four hours exactly, temperature of 180 degrees, which is fair, and it's ready. Oh, here's how it looks. Guys, it looks beautiful, it tastes wonderful. And we're gonna go back in for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. Oh, it's delicious, juicy, very soft, look at this, so let's go back in 15 minutes, okay here it is, oh my god it looks good, 15 minutes at 450 degrees, 
And guess what goes with this? Oh, Spanish rice. So, are we ready? Take a look at this. Oh my God. And crunchy. Okay, so, that's the, the chong asado done in the oven. And that's the rice, Spanish rice, and we're ready to go.